Okay, welcome to Arcing Suns. It's January 29th, 2018. And we're going to start by going over some protocols and then get into some other um, revelation that we've received um, before engaging. So as Michelle was saying, um, don't be afraid of silence or sharing if you see something different, but let's all try and stay together. Um, that's part of the unity and also that we honor everyone's contributions. We will be stepping through Jesus the door and entering the veil of life, the Holy of Holies, moving beyond the inner court. We'll be putting our, our body, soul, spirits in right alignment. And we thank these, our seven spirits. Cloud of witnesses, men in white linen, the angels to assist us in our ascension. We're going to rely on all of our five senses and don't rely on what you know. And we want to lay down any personal agenda. We want to seek the Lord's heart and then just report what we're seeing and sensing and hearing and perceiving. And then um, also we encourage you to take notes for things that are being highlighted. It's always nice to refer to later. And then as facilitators, Michelle, Sharon, and I, uh, we've been given the responsibility to redirect um, if we feel that we are not seeing and hearing where we are and that for some reason we have gone into old methods instead of uh, maintaining um, new heavenly methods. We always seal off all other dimensions by the blood of the lamb. And so Michelle's gonna um, go over some really cool methods slash revelation that, that we received right now. Okay. Um we just, first of all, want to encourage you all that you can see because, um, because as believers, Jesus said, we will see the kingdom of heaven. So we are a new creation being. And as new creation beings, we are multidimensional beings. This isn't something we try to be. It's just the new creation is a multidimensional being because we now have been raised and seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. So through Jesus' death, we've been raised and seated together in heavenly places. So we are in the earth with Christ in us, and we are in heavenly places with us in Christ. Us in Christ in heavenly places, Christ in us, in earth. So that makes us this multidimensional being, and therefore, just agreeing with that new creation that we are releases us to be able to experience the dimensions. And we trust the Holy Spirit always, whenever we engage together, to lead us and to govern us in engaging and in receiving and going from glory to glory or revelation to revelation. And we embrace Jesus who has opened the door for us and whose desire it was for us to come and be with him in heaven when he prayed and said, Father, I wanted them to be with me in heaven where I am. And so we embrace Jesus as we enter in um, so that um, because through him we have now become citizens of heaven and we now have that place as our home and so that helps us then to know that we all are able, well able, to see and to hear 
and to know and experience heaven. Okay, so let's step through Jesus, the door, and enter the veil of life. Um, actually, we'll just step into Jesus. And since we don't have a, a planned meeting place, We'll just wait and um, wait for Holy Spirit to gather us somewhere. So whoever hears of a place or if there are different places, um, that's okay too. We just want everybody to um, contribute what they're seeing. I'm already seated at the right hand of the Father in Him. Hmm. So what that looks like to me is um, that I'm actually sitting in this big um, throne type chair. And Jesus is sitting to the left of me. I would just add to that one just for clarity. Um, this is how I prefer to see it, and it, it is how it's described in Scripture, so you might prefer this, Kathy. Um, we, are, we are in Christ. It's Jesus is described as at the right hand of the Father, and we are in Christ. So we're not, again, to the right of Jesus, but in Christ who is at the right hand of the Father. And what I found really helpful is it's made clear in Revelations, which I've been studying, that there's only the one throne. It's not like God has the big throne, Jesus has a slightly littler throne. It's the one throne, and they're both on the same throne. And we are, with, we are also with them on that same throne. Thank you. That's what I was saying that we were Good. meshed into him as one, meshed into Christ as one. There was no uh, partiality, but it was all, they, we were vaporized into him as one being. Yeah, that's good. So the language of being seated, it's, it's the language of authority. It's not meant to mean Jesus is sitting down all the time. <laughs> Heaven is very active and constantly moving. There's always movement and activity. So that's helped me as well to realize this notion of being seated is not to be taken literally. Symbolic of authority, the position of authority. So we're looking to see and to engage and to hear and to share what we see and hear.
I was holding off to say anything, but before uh, Sharon talked, when I was talking about being one, right after that, he said, what I've given to my son, I've given to you. I feel like Daniel from the Old Testament, he was just showing up. He's been given this task to build this white wall and they're like laying some bricks. And it, it was like the wall, it, the height is like below his waist so far. And I was just everywhere else, I was trying to just zoom out a little bit and it just everywhere else it was dark as if this is like a, like a it expanse and Daniel was giving that task to start creating something and it's like the first task was um, how I would assume had to do what we're doing and building this white wall. Thank you. I'm seeing the area like in front of the throne, row upon row. It looks like babies, but they wrapped up in white blankets. You can just see the head sticking out and then they're wrapped like a burrito and uh, they're just lying there in front of the throne area, row upon row of these babies. So we're, we're in Jesus, one with him. And we've seen the white bricks and then the white babies wrapped, or the, the wrapping of the babies in white um, blankets. And they're almost like they're row after row, which is kind of like the stacks of the brick. So let's keep looking, looking further, see if somebody is seeing or perceiving something else could be very different. But the Lord is always faithful to bring it all together in the end.
Well, I was singing white swans and they were, I felt at first, um, like swimming on the surface of the, the sea of glass around the throne and then taking off to fly and flying around the loop of the throne and uh, landing again and flying again and landing again, just being glorious, graceful white swans. Who else would like to share? Be happy for um, contribution from everybody. We're, we'll see what we're all seeing, what the Lord's telling us. I've been seeing these three white rings. I've been seeing me. Um like going through space, like I'm being, like I'm traveling through space and I can actually see the stars and I could just like feel the, the, at, the, the, the space atmosphere. Can you describe the atmosphere, Bonsil? Okay. Um, I'm, how could I describe this? Oh, have you ever seen Star, Star Trek? And like that point, point where you where where you, where where the, the 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 ship is being moved, you can see like the stars and stuff passing by. Um, and it's like a feel the wind of the atmosphere as I'm being as I'm being pulled through it. Yeah, wow. So the fast movement. Yes, that sounds about right. And Max, do you want to describe more about the rings? Were they interlocking or how did you see them? Yeah, I, they were almost like the Olympic rings, just three of them. So I'm thinking the three images of the, the babies, the wall, and the swans that are placed in these three circles to create some sort of governmental authority or legislation. I, I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, interesting possibility. And I actually did see the white swan, and I was in my mind because uh, it's a little bit bigger than a dove, 
And when I first saw it, and I was thinking, oh, it's almost because it has something um, like a little branch with a little bit of leaf and a little bit of uh, blossoming bud uh, inside of its peak. And I was thinking of the Noah's Ark when they released the dove out and, you know, they were hoping they were going to come back, you know, with the indi 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 indication of a life out there. And I just felt like that. It was flying outside and it was looking for life out there and coming back in and letting us know it's that it's whatever's outside is ready. Mm. It's good. Well, does anyone else get a sense of the three rings uniting the first three things that we saw? And, and then when Manny said, what's outside is ready, I felt like, well, Von Sill has been traveling through the universe. Maybe that's our invitation. Does anyone else have something else um, to add or? What do you sense about that? Myself, I've just been um, enjoying um, dwelling on the throne. I sense it's good to stay and keep looking into what we've already seen and add to anything that we get to. I'm just it's so enjoying the throne and his presence. I'm just so grateful for the freedom of having tonight to be able to talk. Mm -hmm. 
And what I'm sensing is the freedom of those birds, what if they are swan, the freedom to be in him like the swan, to run in him. And I also feel the, the freshness of being a new babe, of growth in him. This is giving me freedom to talk without persecution. And I'm also sensing while I'm sitting on the throne a stability, a great foundation, an immovable pillow that he's established, never to waver. And that's what I'm sensing sitting in the throne. Just being so great that I can talk. Yes, what a blessing. And to be together as well. that mostly yes to be together with others And I also saw these caretakers. I assume um, these are the ones uh, that's going to take care of the babies. And they're on training. And I, I'm just feeling this activity and just the energy uh, around this area. And uh, But they're on training, though. It's as if um, they, hadn't been, they hadn't started you know, the job as a nursing the baby yet. I was seeing a bit of a whirlwind, I think just expressing, pulling some of these things together. Um, I really got a sense of the emphasis on the purity in every situation with the white, um, the protection, the boundaries, um, the intimacy with like the swans being monogamous, the intimacy with the rings interlocked. Um, the the protection with the white wall yet there's liberty you can see beyond it um and then what else the innocence and the security being wrapped in the blankets the babies and the innocence of the babies this, for me it just feels like it's bringing me back to such the basics of the foundation of relationship and the security there that's what i really feel and reminding us who we are in our purity and so on. Yeah, right at the very beginning when we um, engaged, I heard the Father say, you are holy, you're all oh. holy. Oh, cute. Huh? I'm also sensing that um, it's a representative of the um, our, our first love gate. Mm. 
which is foundational, which gives us that freedom. I saw angels that would pass between each row, handing the babies like this tiny little scroll. Um, and as they would eat the scroll, I became, um, I put myself in a place of, in the swaddling clothes and I, I was, uh, had a chance to eat the scroll and it was just like honey in my mouth. It just swept right through my body. And so I saw um, these babies that would eat the scroll, they would go from these faces and like this disarray or this dissonance to just emitting this um, worshipful frequency that's harmonious in the song that is beautiful. I'm feeling led to eat um, one of the scrolls myself. How about anybody else? We agree, right? Yes. You got to tell her though. Yes. Oh, you're on. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, I forgot when I saw the whirlwind, I saw a white uh, foundation to the ground we were on. And I already ate the scroll and I could taste that same kind of honey sweetness. But I saw and felt what looked like white rain, but it almost felt like snow, but not cold. You can see the other day in, in the meeting. Well, yes, me too. I felt to also receive a scroll. And yes, it's like honey. And I agree with the whirlwind. I've been sensing the whirlwind also. Linda said it's like a storm of purity and comfort. Just thinking of, you know, Christians are scarlet, they'll be white as snow. Everything is just purity. Versus is first pure, you know, and it's love and pure. And some of the caretakers, mm -hmm. somebody else, will, angels walking through the babies, handing us the scroll. Perhaps that's just an indication of heaven's provision, angelic, heavenly provision that we have. Yeah. It's yeah. almost like the caretakers are the, um, the angels. Yeah. Mm hmm Ready 
get struck by lightning while we're at it. You, know? right <laughs> you guys are funny. Hmm. Shocked by lightning. Get zapped. Yeah, why not? We, everything else did is happening. Did you it or did you hear or she heard us? <laughs> Zap me. Oh, they, they muted. <laughs> well, the group of other Australians I was ascending with last night, we, we were descending the lightning. As scripture describes the lightning coming from the throne, lightning, rumblings, thunder, and and we had um for those who were in Melbourne in Australia, we had a real loud lightning thunderstorm at the time. And on the lightning theme, my husband and I had just yesterday um come back from a night overnight at a pr small property we have outside of Sydney. And we discovered a tree had been struck by lightning. One of our tall trees had a, a, a scar all the way from top to bottom down to the earth where the lightning had clearly traveled down through the tree and kind of exploded out a section of a whole strip of the bark of the tree and um, exploded out in shards for about, 15 meters or 15 yards. So very impressive display of, of lightning. We have, have photos too to show it amazing power and to think where we are in the throne, it's not, it's not, it can feel peaceful at times, but it's also active and dramatic. And our God is a mighty God of action and power. Just amazing that we can have peace and joy at the same time as enormous power and activity. I sense him lifting us up right into the storm or even, I don't know, the eye of the storm. That could be the whirlwind. Yeah. Just his, I feel, I feel the Father is just proud to display and to show us. When, when we were eating that scroll with the honey taste and that, it just seemed like there was such a peace and the gentleness, the character of the gentleness of Jesus was like over the whole area. Um, and like he was revealing that aspect of himself in that area there. It's funny, I just got a picture of all those um, typical Sunday school images with uh, Jesus in his white robe walking around in the middle in Israel or Judah. And most robes wouldn't have been that white as in, in the painting, but in these paintings, like the European paintings, they're all super white with the purple sash. Yeah. 
Yep, he's a gentle teacher. I almost feel like the, the Lord is, is uh, creating this uh, transition uh, of, of the color of this room uh, into multicolor. And I felt like what he was doing was uh, he was just making two light poles uh, that was used to be invisible. Now it's just made visible uh, behind and it started to shoot some lightning and, and with fire, you know, glowing in yellow and red. In color as if it's charged it's about to charge up the atmosphere of this room and i keep hearing uh, new beginnings
one other um, time we had, um, we were given um, these methods. Um, and the first one was to believe and have faith as a, as a small child or a baby. And then we had the desire. And I feel like right now we're entering into the, the spirit of might or the strengthening, um, the power um, stage. And the final stage is agreement. So I feel like we're going through the, um, the four um, methods. And the final stage is the government stage, which is the representing the white rings. Yes. I was just thinking with purity or um, with purity is might and with might, with true might is real purity. So do you think we all should be caught up into that whirlwind um, to receive the power and the strengthening? Yes. And yeah. maybe through the fire as well. The fire for new beginnings. And if anybody wants to share what they're experiencing as they're in, in the, um, the whirlwind. It's consuming. It's just like the X chapter two of the wind and the fire. That's a very good point.
it's almost felt like uh, the babies are willing to go through the whirlwind, entering into the whirlwind. There, there's just the, the power transformation being released onto them. And I'm really feeling that that um, when Manny was talking about the um, the ark and the bird that left um, to check for life, um, I think that that is going to be our um, agreement um, in the end, our our like our governmental act, something to do with that. Well, yes, I feel there's something in the, the, the going out and just like Von Sil felt that sensation of moving amazing speed past stars. And I, I'd been getting a sense of um, being taken down a rushing river, like kind of like I was thinking of the river of life in heaven, of course, but it was taking me at quite a speed down a, a river. And then, oh, what was the third link? Um, oh, the whirlwind, the movement of the whirlwind and a sense of babies being taken up and even being shot up at the top. Just this amazing sense of energy and movement and going out. And that was linked in my mind with, with the, the idea of the dove with the leaf in the mouth saying it's it's ready it's ready out there i also saw when the babies were caught up in the world when that their little swaddles um were um being released because they were transforming I saw that too. I saw them just blowing off. Um, I just have been, I just have been sensing that the the new beginning is is really the a purity beginning, a beginning of purity, of of an of a new level, and a boundary of purity of the Lord's purity. And that's why Daniel was building it. And that's why we were babies in it because purity had been lost. And until the purity was restored, the, the, the new energy and release of the power and um, mighty flow wasn't going to take place. Everything in, in, in every aspect that we saw, the swans, depicting intimacy and 
um, unity and faithfulness, the rings depicting government, um, and the, the, the bricks depicting the wall that was being built all spoke to me, and the babies all spoke to me about the purity of every aspect of heaven. And we being babies in that, as an ecclesia, are being brought to a place. I feel like this, the new, let's put it this way, I'm sensing the new beginning is a release of purity, a revelation of purity, an empowering of purity that will then um, send a speeding release of power of God out. The sense I got was like supernatural incubation <laughs> of this purity that's always, always been there. And I think about in general, like babies don't worry, you know, as a girl that they've been taught to worry, they've been taught to fear or, you know, life has taught them lies about themselves. So I feel like there's such a surge of bringing us back to who we are in that innocence and almost like undoing anything that's been done and redoing it and like in the whirlwind i felt like we were being decocooned you know and recocooned in a sense of like with this purity and with this might and with this infusion so i think there's something that's happening um to undo whatever we've experienced on this earth as well so that we can bring it and if children are grown in a, in a positive environment or believers even you know um, they, they're confident. They're confident in their father. They're confident in what's going to happen. They're confident in who they are. And I feel like that's a bit of what was happening to bring us to the next phase on the earth. Yeah, that's good. Good night, Robin. Robin says good night. just engaging with Daniel and realizing that his life really spoke um, in the earth about the faithfulness and purity of his commitment. Yet he could not be swayed, he could not be compromised. Um, the presence of the Lord in our daily lives, the presence of the Lord gets carried into the situation on the shoulders of 
if you look at when the Ark of the Covenant was being brought in, it was on consecrated priesthood, people who had were prepared in their relationship and had washed themselves clean. They were like pure. And they carried in on their shoulders the presence of the Lord, Lord, the Ark of the Covenant. And I think what he's raising up um, in preparation for the, with the new Jerusalem coming down and everything is a people who are like babies without guile, who are trusting, who are pure, innocent, and who carry his presence. The scroll that he gave each one to eat, carry it into the presence of wherever we are and spread the love of the Lord, the gentleness of the Lord, the care of the Lord to all those around. So has everybody received this revelation in their heart? Does everybody feel complete? Um, yeah, it's just been lovely engaging with engaging with this. Yep. Yeah, I do really feel it on the promotion of sorts release into purity and greater release of purity. Yes, I sense the Father's delight. He's been showing us his holiness, his goodness, his good and perfect plan for this. How about everybody else before I stop the recording? It's so good, I don't want to move. It's good with us. How about Manny and Max and Marilyn? Yes, this is fun. I'm just asking the Lord, um, what are these babies? How are they going to be interacting with 
what's happening in the outside world if there are any chaos out there you know with the state of the way we do ministries out there and i haven't been able to really lock in anything the lord is saying to me yet is it going to be just a, a new move and what is god going to do with you know just a system uh, that's out there and how it's going to affect um, these baby um, you know being raised this way and going willing to go through the whirlwind i see it as a, a, a the lord revealing to us the expression of his heart many uh with where he, the holy spirit is taking us and as we are engaging and receiving and becoming um you know uh, in that pure and um holy being established as in purity and holiness um that's going to be the increase um that's going to be established um among the ecclesia because we've all we all know that we've been appointed to be conformed to the image of Christ and this part he's showed us today i see as um his heart as to where he's taken us because we've had a lot of <laughs> power in a sense uh, of different powers of signs and wonders and have uh, have obviously needed to see and experience purity in heaven today so i believe that you know the reverential fear of the lord is is definitely um breaking out over the ecclesia and will break out in the earth that's how i see it sure awesome i see it as a definite shift in how the church sees who they are in christ what um, the, what the, the extent of the cross has done for them um, because to me it, uh, being surrounded with um, well in, in at Moody Bible Institute it's surrounded and with Christians who are still talk, st um, stuck it seems like their language and how they act they're stuck in this um, paradigm of this um, they're still um, sinners we're still um, continually sinning, which is hard to hear. Well, should we come in agreement then uh, on this? which we've been shown for the sake of the Ecclesia. Yes, that would be our, our governmental act, um, kind of like our, our agreement for our desires of this to manifest. Yeah. Are we all in agreement that we desire this to manifest in us and with us and through us? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yes. In the yes. <laughs> All right. Well, what? Uh, how should we? Um, how should we uh, do this? Um, would anybody like to? Uh, what about like the? Um uh, the lightning, we can release lightning, or we can release that white snow stuff that's not really cold. We can release that. Um, maybe that could be our, our, our governmental act. Mm. Yeah. Um. And yeah, where it says, though your sins are scarlet, you shall be as white as snow. <laughs> um, oh. We, 
I was thinking we could also just agree with the Father and Jesus and Holy Spirit. We could just agree with the purity um, being released. You know, the, the revelation of purity, the experience of purity, the knowledge of purity, the everything. We've already got the caretakers and the angels moving amongst the babies, yeah. handing out the scrolls, which... Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. our desire is that we would see this purity uh, living in us and this purity establishing in the ecclesia, and and so that's our heart's desire. We are in agreement with that. Yep, and we saw the caretakers um, and then the angels passing out the scrolls. Um, so on earth as it is in heaven. Um, yeah, so purity is being released in, in scroll form of revelation into the hearts of people and into the hearts of the ecclesia. Um, purity is becoming established in the lifestyle of the Ecclesia. <laughs> a pure bride, <laughs> a pure wife, without spot, without wrinkle. Mm -hmm. uh, so, should we, so we just see that purity being released um, also out of heaven, as it were, like uh, snow. We just release it. Like snow, we just we just snow throw down the snow. <laughs> yeah, the sprinkly snowball. Let us all be just filled, covered with the snow, Avalanches. with purity. <laughs> we just throw it in. Hey, have some purity. <laughs> you know, I definitely feel that this agreement that we have just made it, is if it's it's causing this lightning to strike down on earth and it's like a, making the earth uh, trembling and quaking i see yes. that really I, see that too. Yeah. I see that too yes 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 we agree thank you lord let the whirlwinds let yeah. the snow let mm. the uh, white the, wind, let it all come the quaking the quaking Shattering. Mm. That's good. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, because it's important for all of us to feel accomplished, you know, um, when we when we get on these calls. You know, because we want we want to know that what we're doing here is making a difference, um, and that's how we operate on our seats in heavenly places. Mm -hmm. So that was good, Manny. I'm glad that you 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 um, you yeah. said that that you didn't you mm -hmm. that you were stuck there, not you know without confirmation yet. So that was really good. And you expressed desire, uh -huh. that desire, and that needed to be released. He gives us the desires of our heart. <laughs> Thank you. So we were able to release it, receive the desires of our heart by what we agreed upon. Mm -hmm. And when we agree upon anything, it's done for us and it's in line with the Lord, it's done for us. Mm -hmm. And the and the coolest thing is because we know that this is what God desires. Yes. Because we're in Him, and He just showed us um, what was in His heart through mm -hmm. everybody on this call. That's why it was it's corporate. It's a corporate ascension. And we also take it into our hearts, into the garden of our hearts. You know, embrace it. We. We um, possess this to be established in us and to grow in us. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome. All right. Well, good. I'm going to turn the recording off now.